Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy here and welcome to Airport City here, part 23 in City Skylines, yes. In the previous episode I've been building this entire river over here that comes from this main river and I put a ship lane into it and connected it to this cargo harbor in the hopes that the ore area here has some place to export the stuff. And so far ships are docking, they're coming, uh, they can only enter this place and I remember that I actually... Oh, I see already, that's like a path. I thought it was still going over the uh, key wall. No, no, it's okay, 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 it's fine. Now, uh, they can only enter this place, you know, from here and go to there and back. That's basically it. Yes. Also, uh, I told that I would be dealing with, uh, you know, with, uh, with these things, you know, the trains going over this over this uh, river so these ships can go underneath it and actually on this side I was thinking like you know if I have to put all that stuff so far in the air I was thinking like why would I make myself it so difficult while we also have something called underground yeah underground it is now also I have forested this entire area to create like a huge forestry area with like already uh, a disabled uh, harbor here. Let's check it out. It is, yes, it's disabled. And the idea was to put like a farm over here. Now this space is rather tiny. It's tiny, it's tiny, it's tiny. But I can probably uh, put a, you know, a harbor in here, uh, not a harbor, a uh, cargo terminal in here that is connected to this line. You know, it's just a matter of trying it out. Now, did I zone this area already? Let me see. Farm dramatic. Yes, I did. Now, for some reason, don't ask me why, but if you look at um, the ground resources, it says here, forest. And I cannot remove that for some... Whoa, whoa that's the wrong button. I cannot remove it. For some reason, I cannot remove the forest over here while well, there's no single tree to be seen and even if I untree this area you know with this thing or maybe even with the regular tree I could still try that so take this option put that away then, then put this to maximum and then just untree it so not tree it but untree it maybe that helps I'm not sure just this area yeah and then let's have a look again Nope, it stays green. That is weird, right? I cannot remove the, the, the forestry area over there. So I have to do with what I have over, over here. Now, since the train line is here, I want to export the stuff here. So I will build most of the, the production buildings over here. Great. So for that, we are going to use the simple four-lane road, which we have been using before. You know what, I will just grab it from here. Get you to there, thank you. Take this road. Do I have it? Yes, I have it. And let's just see what we can do. I want to make this actually straight in line with, with that. Ha, huh. okay, so I can also do it from here. Here we go. We have it. Pull those this away. Thank you. Now we have like a straight line. Perfect. Now, first of all, we need production buildings. Yes, production buildings. How far does the zone go? Now, this is actually the furthest it will go. So that will be interesting uh, because this is like a wood area. So this, uh, this road, yeah, I need to use this part probably as storage. And here, this left part and this upper part as like production. I think that will be the best option. So we connect it up to there. And from here, we connect it as close to there. And then here we put like a nice lovely roundabout, pitching in there with three lanes. Like this, 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 and this, and this. And actually I'm picking the wrong one. I need the one with the bike lanes. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Good. 
very very nice let's give this roundabout a little bit of TLC control shift click it a click it a click pick your lane pick your lane pick your lane pick your lane and let's increase the speed a little bit more to a 50 kph and we are all happy nice now let's start we need a main building now the main building can be put basically all the way here to the edge because or that will probably be outside of the zone but that would not be such an issue because even if that zone is not even harboring um, um, you know um, for what the hell uh, <laughs> fertile ground you still can place like a main building on it so that will be okay like this yeah that will work fine great so farming here we go main building uh, they selected it this one catching okay and then the maintenance building I also place it here it's also fine so those we have nice now let's see now we need like production buildings production buildings will be probably mostly these fruit fields and I like the way that I can now see the edge of the area so let me put one here and there yes also I'm going to put one there and here just not big enough okay then we use a smaller one that will work yeah yeah that will that will hopefully work <laughs> okay so all nice and well we take this uh, where are we going to work from so we want to put some storage here right all right let's turn that thing off uh, industries barns so hmm, they will come from this direction so I want them to fill these barns also from this direction yeah <coughs> yes um, this space actually it's kind of pity because I could utilize it as a space for you know um, factories but on the other hand well why not I can utilize a one-way road just like let me see we take this we go in between here I can always move those around from there then to there now we have some space here so does this still okay it does not sit into the region but it's okay we make it bigger all the way to there and we can put like uh, production buildings over here for the farming industry so that will be milking parlors and flour mill so uh, flour mill milking parlor another flour mill that's the wrong building this is flour mill this is milking parlor and this is a cattle shed no, we don't need that go away we need you thank you yep and we take this building again thank you great that's not bad so they will come here uh, you know I wonder if it, that is that is not too close or maybe this this road has to go under pause like that that minus 12 this is like 3 so we make it 6 uh -huh. home like that and we connect it to that road which is fine and then we take this road again we go down to here here there yes so they can bring now the stuff to warehouses and i need to make a road for the train station great uh warehouses we need some warehouses these big boys they do fit here pretty nice why not like there let's say there now let me think mm. If I put them here, is there enough space left for a... Yeah, there is. So you go there. And you go there. 
great. Uh, okay, balanced, it's okay. In here we put like flour. In here we put like uh, animal products. In here we are putting like a flour again. And in this one we are putting animal products. Great. Now these guys also have to come back to their facilities. So in order to accomplish that, I am taking this one way road again. And coming basically from here, let me see. I can go around this or I can just go under it. Um, what is more easier? So this is like 16. Okay, so we make it 10. Just go down. Oh, that's minus 13. That's not the idea. Also, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Maybe going around it, it's just not such a bad idea. Uh, well, in that case, just going from, let's say, here. Maybe can make a perfect bend of something like 8 by 8 here. Just a thought. This is an 8. An 8 by 8. Oh, man. I'm on a roll. <laughs> just figuring out, you know, by head. Oh, it's an 8 by an 8. Done. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, nice. Uh, and from here, okay, let's hook this up to there. So they can go back, which is nice, which works fine. These guys are producing all fine and well. Nice. Uh, these guys are also making stuff that can go into a bakery. You know, bakery. The bakery is this building, so we can, do we have a space for that? Yeah, we do have the space, so I put like a bakery there in combination with a tiny warehouse. Well, maybe even tinier, an old warehouse, just a small one, because those unique factories, they don't need that much space. Although, I'm thinking a little bit outside of the box. Uh, Take this road, take it up there, and then up there, and then back there. Now what if we put this thing just... This is like... So, uh, well, I want two of these things, but I feel like this is just a little bit too wide. Uh, Let's grab the move it mod, pick this building, copy it. Yeah, just as I thought, it's a little bit on the white side, but I think I think we can get away with it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, yeah, no issues, no tissues, all fine. We put this building over there. We make even a copy of it. I say like we make even a copy of it, not like replace it. Thank you very much. And put this to unique factories, goods, unique factory products. Very, very nice. Yeah, actually I like this. And I'm also wondering, I want to make more space between this warehouse and this junction. Now, an idea for that is to extend this road a little bit. Like that. Move this thing over here. Like a chain. And then take the road again, and then bring it, yeah, like very short by to there. And no, 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 <laughs> not that. Uh, okay, again to there. Delete this part, and then move this thing. Come on. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And you will go. Come on. You will go there. Here we go. Now we have a lot of lot more space, and now we have the perfect situation to create like yeah, whatever we need for the you know the access port to the train station. We do it from here like that, and then we take the two lane road, which is this one. Is it yeah? It's far enough. Okay, how far was this? Seventeen. I'm the champion in odd numbers. Anyway. 3 by 3, 3 by 3, and go up to there, 
um, straight line. Well, let's also make this. That's a 16. I want a 17. 17. Thank you. 17. Yep. Also fixed. And then here we do a 3 by a 3 and a 3 by a 3. Nice. Now we can put like this cargo station over here. Cargo station, where are you? Here you are. Look at that. It's. Oh man, it fits like a glove. So, okay. Uh, pause the game. Do those this. Put that thing over here. And that's nice. Then take. <coughs> Take this thing, you know, it nearly, it nearly, well, it fits, it fits enough, for, for me at least, it does. <coughs> um, yeah, this is not entirely fitting, but considering this little, why is there a wheel in here? Huh, let me remove this, 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 and this, because this can be done better, I don't know for sure. I definitely know for sure that can be better. Yeah, it can be. Let's see, what's the distance to here? 30. Great. So we make this 18. Then we make it go underground 12. And then make it go above ground by 12. And then we connect it sort of up to there. But here we will use the lovely connection tool we have at our disposal here at the network multi-tool. Uh, yeah, so this area with this area, you gotta love this tool. Oh man, man, man. Yeah, especially when things go wrong. Okay, let's try this again. You and you. And that works fine. Great. Now we have this thing. Uh, and we also need like, of course, naturally, simply, always, bypass. Um, we'll go from, let's say, what's the distance between here? Three units. Yeah, from here. What's the distance from here to here anyway? It's like... And then to there. What's the distance here? This is like a 12. Another 12 and then hook it up here with a 9. Ah! That's not good. That is looking bad. <laughs> That's looking horrible. Okay, let's do that better. Okay, let's see if we can do this better. Let's take this thing again. Was I sitting at the wrong spot or something? Oh, this is okay. Ah. No, let's see. Home. Mm. From here. How far is this? This is like... Oh, it's already like 14, so... I will make it go underground already. Minus 12. Naturally, it will be like that. On the ground, thank you. And then we go to the other side. And here we bring it up again. ka -ching, done. Select this option again. And then from here, let's see. Nine units. Nine units. And then from here to there is also nine units. And we have like a double bypass. Yes. Now we need to put the speed on that bypass. Uh, well, it stays unlimited. But within this area, we put it back to 90. Maybe even 80 because it's a very short bypass. 80. Yeah, press play. Great. Now are we going to make a roundabout here? Hmm. Maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think that will do. Okay, let's uh, put in some yield signs. Here we go. 
And also here, we say like, you will go there and you will go there. Uh, move through the junction, no crossings. I dislike crossings. Mm, but I like parking spots, so people can park their cars. Uh, that does not fit. Where's the other one? Where is the other one? Well, this one also does fine. There and there. There and there. Nice. Now, uh, the ore industry learned me that also these guys need parking spaces. So let me give them also a parking space here. And maybe also here because it's also on the inside and I don't want to create crossings you know I don't like those so we put one over there one over there let's have a look here at the you know the actual how you call these things what are these things the, the fruit fields yes give them another color which makes it a little bit nicer not bad. And actually we have like a whole section over here. And that's nice. What can we do with that? We can... We can fill it up. Yeah. We are going to fill that up. Why not? Because, you know, the... Storage facilities are, are here. And th these are the only places where we have like... Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe we can combine it somehow. And the storage is here. Okay, so let me think. That means like I'm not even going to think. I'm just going to plonk down. <laughs> uh, just like that. And then from here we go to roughly there. And then to there. And then also to there. And then we do those this way. And maybe a connection to this roundabout would not be such a bad idea. But, you know, extra connectability would be nice. Uh, are we going under it? Or we could just sink that train? Yeah, why are we not just going to sink that train line? Yeah, I like that idea better. Um, let me have a look. First of all, uh, first I do this and then we do this. And then, mamma mia, um, 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 okay, so this, no, I, I, oh my gosh, what, what am I, what am I doing here? This is like, wait a second, um, you go, you go there, and then, Maybe a little bit of this, and then connect it to a little bit of this, like like that. Hmm. Let's see if that is possible. From there to there, there and there, it is possible. Like a fancy, uh, fancy band. Why not? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. We take this all the way to there. Is this still within the zone? It is. Is it also still within the arable land? Let me check that out. It is. Nice. Great. So we are putting in there more farming stuff like the no, no, no. These fruit fields. Uh, one there. This one does not fit because of the train line. Okay. Then we put like a no, not a small dose. Then. One of these and one of these. Yeah, they fit. That's not bad. Uh, that's not bad. Um, you know, con considering that you know how these roads work, it's like, okay, they go there and they have to go drive that way. They cannot just go across the road. Uh, I cannot put this on the other side, sadly enough. But this one I can. And this one, yes. So, by doing so, I also change this into Pierce. So it changes color a little bit. Pierce, like that. Nice. And then, mm, we add another storage. Yes. And what did I want it to do more? Um, oh yeah, factories. Uh, a few more factories. Do I have a space for those things, these things? 
like the flower. Oh, look at it scamping that train line. <laughs> One there. Uh, and also this thing. Ooh, is this thing not bigger? Oh, it is bigger. No, 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 no. Really? Are you going to do that to me? Really? Seriously? <laughs> okay, so we have to be a little bit inventive. So like, okay, you go there. We just go down a little bit. Yeah. Like that. And then... Four. Back. Okay. Then again, we take this building. Now it fits. Yeah. Now we take this building again. We take this building again. Yep, they fit. And then here we can put like these, yep, we can put, they will perfectly fit in there. Those warehouses, these, oh, look at that. Do we need that many? Just two of them or? Yeah, two is I think enough. Oh man. Uh, also because we need to make sure that these guys are getting to wherever we need them the warehouses maybe we connect them to there not to the main road here yeah i have an, I have an idea about that so put these over here then we put like flour in here we put like animal products in there take the road we're going this way then we're going like underground we love underground darn it Again, it's this thing again. And, yeah. 6 by minus 12. That works. And I want it to be going up to there. Yeah, this works. And to be connected to there. Now, this is 24. So I make this a 16. Oh, that is an 8. Aye. Uh, miscalculation. Oh, sorry. Miscalculation. So how much do we have left? 16. Okay, then that, that's the wrong one. 10. 10. And then 6. Yes. Uh, it does bring it to there, there, there. Yeah, that's okay, I think. Yeah, that's not bad. I suppose that works fine. I mean, these guys are now producing. As long as we don't have any serious traffic issues, I'm happy with it. And wherever possible, we can put like a small roundabout. Oh yeah, this train line, we need to uh, sink it down. Okay. Move it more to the rescue. So... Oh, there's a note exactly there. Okay, can I sink it? Aye, ew, look at that. Whoa. Hmm. Mm hmm. Um. Yeah, that also means like that behind this building, the landscape will be a little bit different. But we can fix that by doing it like this. This. Bulldoze this away. When I'm not on the ground, thank you, bye. Come on, you will go then to there. So that gives a little bit more distance, yes. Now, let me have a look at this, because this, look, this looks like a mess. First of all, notes, notes. So we have like a note here and no more notes. Okay, we are going to implement a few notes. I want to have a note directly here. And I want to know directly there. So I can pick this piece and say like we upgrade it to a bridge mode. Ta-da! Problem solved. Yeah. Then, let's see, we take this sloping tool, this thing. 
And from all the way here. I think so. From here to there. And then say enter. And then from here to there. Enter. Uh huh. Now you see that blue, blue stuff? That means like it is too close. So you can fix that by using the move it mod and slide this node backwards to the back until the train starts to become normal again, like this. And this side the same thing, but we have like 50 million zebras around here, so <laughs> let's remove those. Um, means like carry through the junction, no zebras, and here also pick your lane, move through the junction, no zebras. This is not, not right. What is wrong with these? These are not set up properly. Yeah, now they are right. That one. And speed. 50. This is 60. Uh, make it 50. Yeah, so I think... Mm, no, wait a second. I need to have a few normal trees. Normal brush size. Just put that a little bit around here, so... It does not it does not look too obvious you know that there is like a trench where that train line is going through but also not too obvious that you know these trees are put there to cover it to cover it up okay let's do a little kind of all kinds of trees a little bit of this a little bit of that yep so how much is there in there? Okay, that's nice. Uh, okay, let me see. Did I do the roundabouts proper here? Uh, I think so. Yes. How about this one? It's already done. Do I need a roundabout here? Mm. Do I need a roundabout there? Uh, no, I don't want a roundabout, but I don't want crossings either. But what I do want is a pedestrian bridge. Pedestrian bridges. And like in the previous episode, we love to just monkey around with the move it mod. So it's, you don't even have to think about it. Just, you know, plunk it down like that, like that, like that, even like that, even like that that <laughs> I know I'm I'm kind of exaggerating now to a point that is like okay you know this would work better if you have more time and not like in a recording but it's just the idea you can just you know you know the pillar is there you move this whole thing just to the corner of the the street and you do the same with this one bring it to the corner of the street like that and it, this one the same don't worry if it's like uh, not straight because that road is, you know, smaller than the other roads, which are main roads. This is now fine. Yeah. And here you can drag this a little bit back. You can drag this a little bit back. Just like that. Same goes for here. Like that. Here we can do the same. No problem at all. This we can do also like that. Uh, this we can do like that. A little bit like that. And then this one. There's a little bend in here. So we also put like a little bend into this path. Thank you. Thank you. Also do the same around here. Like that. Okay. Traffic manager. Uh, why do I select traffic manager? These roads are already dedicated turning lanes. Oh yeah, junction restrictions. This is the main road that goes on. But I don't apply uh, any um, traffic lights. And also here we have like these zebras. Uh, we have them everywhere, those things. Carry on, carry on. No crossing. 
also here carry on carry on no crossing no crossing Mm, also here, you know, how many zebras do you need, uh, you know, in real life? One, two, three, four, five. Mamma mia, go away. All these zebras, you know, totally not needed. If you want to cross the road, fine, then just, you know, use a normal path. Bring it over it like that, 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 and done. They can go from one place to another. Actually, we have like a lot of free space left here, you know, it's like, uh, I'm kind of surprised by that. So, can I do something with it? These guys are exporting. Hmm, I like. Hmm, these guys, you see, they are bringing the stuff there. They're bringing it here to this junction. You know, my feeling says that this junction should be a roundabout. Yeah, it should be a roundabout. Ching, done, roundabout. Take this road, make it a bicycle roundabout. Thank you. Close. Traffic manager. Say so like Control Shift, click. Speed 50. Fast enough. Pick your lane. Pick your lane when you come onto the roundabout. Pick your lane. Pick your lane. Don't cross there. Any more issues and tissues? Nope. And let's say do not lane switch in front of the roundabout. We don't even have a node inside here. I don't want them to lane switch in between here at all. And also here. Whoa. And here. Oh, what is wrong here? Let me check. Control shift click. Be gone. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, pick your lane. That's better. Yeah. You know, actually this whole farm industry takes a little uh, takes a lot less space than I actually thought. Uh, let's have a look at it. Area industry. So we are not importing. We are producing 74 tons. From which 17 tons are both used for flour and animal products, which is nice. Uh, what so far gives this on our budget? Oh, look, it's rising. So, if the expenses are there and the income is here as close as much to zero, the better it is because then most of the stuff is being transported through the warehouses, which automatically means more cash money mula now how about these things we can put them to 150 percent 150 percent and actually yeah why not i mean the space is there why not just utilize it a little bit like that like that just like that Take smaller farms like this, this, and that, and with a you know a farm, uh, no a silo directly here. Yeah, except I don't like this. Oh man, I don't like these junctions. You know, I really hate those things. Uh, okay, let's just see. Let's make it a tiny roundabout, just like that, mm, very tiny, okay, fair enough, um, select this option, control shift click, um, yeah, pick your lane, pick your lane, pick your lane, pick your lane, um, mm, do we take a left turn here, yeah, it's okay, so you can carry on. No, no, and no. We don't want these guys to lane cross. They can do it over here if they want to. And for the rest they can do it... Well... well there is not really another side, right? Could, I could make something there. Like what? Huh. You know... 
what could benefit from 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 a bakery? I don't know. Maybe some low commercial area. Maybe just here. Is that a good idea to put that here? Well, we will try just a, a little bit. Only that little bit. Yeah. So this is not uh, this is not bad. I mean, this works like a charm. I mean, he's going to take the bypass. He's a good boy. So the traffic is at 88% with despawn mode off, of course. And uh, we are not yet at the 100,000 people. We do have some residential demand uh, now coming in. And with now the petroleum oil area over here, with farm dramatic over there, and more, 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 more over there, and this huge, humongous, mega, 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 mega forest wood planta plantation. We have to think about well, what would be the next place for you know to build more people, you know, to uh, build more estate. Um, well, there are several places we can do it. Um, of course, I want, I want, I think also people in this area because you know we are not going to fill this entire area up with with uh, industries. I think mm, here they will be outputting the stuff. We do have a train line running here through the woods. Oh, that, wait a second. Oh, that's a regular train line. Yeah. That's not even a cargo one. Hmm? This is, where is this going? Oh, it's going there. Oh, yeah, I see it already. It's going outside of the map. Ah, okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Um. We can always make uh, you know connections from here and following this uh, shoreline, going it also here outside of the map. Okay, it's doable, and maybe we can put more residential on this side. Actually, that would be, not be bad. No. So how about the noise? Noise. You see, no noise here. So we can do it actually. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, give me a uh, you know, give me a moment, and I will time uh, time lapse a nice uh, thingy together. Yeah, be right back, guys.
Okay then, so after some uh, building around, I think this is the perfect spot for like more residential. Uh, we can put some more roads here as well, but I don't have the time for that anymore because I think I already spent enough time. Also put down this road underneath the canal here, this river, uh, all the way you know, alongside this track uh, with the parallel road uh, mod. Uh, to the outside uh, connection over here, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah, cars are already using it. And let me quickly do something about this sloping because it looks a little bit hideous on some places. So let me fix that a little bit up, like that, like that, like that, like that. Here we go. Here we have like this huge lump and here you basically you dive down in like well look at that <laughs> look at the slope <laughs> let's see if we can do something about that you know use the set slope mode shift and say like from here to well, let's say there let's say like ching. maybe that's a little bit better um, yeah, it's sort of diving away uh, as it were, you know, he did this thing, let's use this option, can I grab this note and say slope it, thank you, and then bring it up maybe slightly, uh, something like that. Yeah, that fits better than the terrain, you know, you go down pretty steeply around here, but they have no issues with that. And I decided to make that road also 80 kilometers per hour, uh, except for the last piece. Oh, this is 50, 50, and how about here? 80, okay. That's fine enough with me, I think I'll live with that. Except if I press uh, the shift key and the control key, you see, I can say like here and here 80 when you're driving out, but 50 when you're coming in. So not crossing too quickly to the roundabout. And we have like a blue line. Oh, okay. Easy fix. Just take the move it mod. Do not go on the ground. Just move it a little bit and you're done. Right. Also in this corner section, remove that. That's nice. Here we have another one of those. I don't know why they actually put these things in there. It's just a, you know, it's just a corner. Yeah, it's just. I mean, also here we have a corner, but it does not do the same thing. It's kind of weird. But anyway, um, think yeah, this uh, area is ripe for uh, yeah residential, and uh, that will feed in definitely the forest area we will be building here in the next episode. Also, you have me. You have seen me, you know, building the um, key walls around here, and these waterways are working pretty nice. I think this is like a pretty uh, nice episode, you know, what we we accomplished quite a lot. So, uh, off screen, I will put in um, some services and uh, maybe also the remaining roads here, and yeah, then we can basically begin starting with the mega, 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 mega forest wood plantation. Okay, before we are going, let's have a quick look at the farming industry, how it is doing over here. No flour here, no animal products, not much. They're producing. So, how are we doing? We're not even making that much stuff. We have so many crops and we do not make the stuff. That's kind of weird. This is a bakery, right? Yeah, it uses. Uses, yeah. It kind of uses. Hmm. And this will, yeah, unique factory. Yeah, that that does use. So should work fine, actually. Or these things do simply not put, output so many that uh, these uh, large warehouses, medium warehouses, can be filled up completely. I have no idea. How about the warehouses here? Ooh, these are completely... Wow, those are completely chock. A block. Filled up with crops. This one probably also. Nah, it's not too bad. Hmm. How about this one? 
also completely filled up. Why are these guys not more sending out the stuff to... Well, well, yeah. I think... Yeah, I think... I think I have a, I have a little idea. Now what I'm going to do before ending this episode is saying like we are going to put like a barn there and we set it to empty. So all excess, uh, you know, farm stuff we have, all the uh, farm, yeah, the crops will go into here and they will deliver it to this station and it will be exported. Yeah, after I set this to 60. Yeah. Oh man, every time I see something new, it never ends, you know. Um, now, this, now this node again. I want to make the offset bigger to 15. And I want to remove that dreadful uh, zebra thing. And yes, we also need a little bit of um, public um, transportation into this area. I don't think we have that many metro lines going around here. So let me have a quick look. This is a metro, metro station. We do have a few of those. No, this is a regular train line. Yeah. And this one, it's green and yellow hmm, together. Oh yeah, that yellow one, I, I made it once. Uh, yeah, I remember, remember. But we can connect all that stuff up to this area because we have, oh yeah, we can also do that, you know, connect all this stuff up, going through this place going through this place and connect it basically up to this area where they can be connected as well maybe even go further along here I mean plenty of ideas so I think that was episode 23 and uh, I think we accomplished uh, quite a lot um, quite happy with it and uh, not happy with that <laughs> oh. <laughs> not so happy with that view come on Come on, dude. That's like. Zoop. Zoop, 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 zoop. Keyboard must be a keyboard. Keyboard always needs to be a keyboard. Yeah. I don't think I uh, actually did the edges of that keyboard when I was doing the time lapse, actually. I think I forgot this piece. Yeah, I forgot it. It's like, uh, yeah, a little bit dumb. But anyway, it'll do. Yeah, so it's nice. Okay, so let's redo it again. Let's make a nice screenshot of this whole thing and yeah, something like this. That will do. Okay, guys and girls, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, tips, uh, new options or new trials to, to do here in City Skylines, let me know in the comment section and we will see what we can do. Okay guys, thank you for watching and until next time, see you, bye bye.